Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today I'm gonna to tell you my top five Fujar. So not so long ago I did my top five barbershop fragrance and Barbershop and Fougère are kind of somewhere in the same territory. Barbershop fragrance don't have to be Fougère and Fougère don't have to be barbershop fragrance. But really often Fougère and barbershop fragrance are pretty much the same. Fougère are often barbershop fragrance and a lot of barbershop fragrance are Fougère. But still, I think it deserves its own list and have some fragrance that are not barbershop fragrance. Don't make the list redundant. I think it's gonna be good list, interesting list. If you like Fougère, but necessarily Barbershop, might be a good list for you. And I'm gonna start with some honorable mention. The first honorable mention will be Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And I was thinking to put it in the list because it was really a special fragrance and the way it was made, making an oriental Fougère. At the time, it was really unique. Nowadays, there's a lot of Oriental Fougère and it's less unique, but the way it was made just was really unique. But still, I think everything on my list was better and it was really fast and like rapidly removed from the list. Another honorable mention is Azaro pour Homme, which is really a beautiful fragrance. It smells great. It smells really like a classic barbershop fragrance with a little twist with the caraway and uh, a nice and the anise is really unique, at least from what I know, with uh, not necessarily unique, but rare in barbershop fougère fragrance, I should say. But still, I think it's not as unique as some of the other one. Not necessarily unique in the way that it, they stand out from other kind of fragrance, but more unique in a way that it's easier to find someone wearing as a program as its signature scent than most of the other fragrance the exception of maybe one of them. And finally, for a last honorable mention, I also have my own Fougère. It's also an Oriental Fougère, which is right there where we're pointing you. And it's also available as an aftershave and it's a traditionnel. If you're interested to know more about it, you can look in the description and go on my website for more info. So let's go with the top five. Number five and number four it was really hard to put them in which order also with Azaroporam that was a contestant for those position. But in the end, I went with the question, which fragrance would I be most likely to wear? That's why I came up with that uh, number five and four. So number five is Bogart by Jacques Bogart. And this fragrance is really nice. It's really beautiful. It's an old school fragrance. I think one of the fragrance that people just Put aside they don't care they they look at it it's really cheap fragrance they look at it they think oh it looks like nothing not interesting but really if you like Fougère, it's i mean it's in the top five so it's one of the best one it smells great i would say that there's a little like, little something of the Acar noir it's not similar it's not a clone it's nothing like that it's just like in the same family or type of Fougère than Dracar Noir. One thing I really love about this fragrance is the note of birch. The note of birch is not like extremely powerful in this fragrance but I feel it's really natural and I got it I smell a bunch of fragrance with the note of birch including Tom Ford Noir Anthracite and none of them had such a natural note of birch. It's really smell like the tree and not like the leaf but really like the tree, the trunk, what it will smell and it's really nice and for this I think just for this for the note of birch I think it's a great fragrance especially if you like to analyze it but also for the smell it's a really nice smelling fragrance. Number four it's Dracar Noir by Guy La Roche. This fragrance it's really nice it smells a bit soapy a bit citrusy almost lemony lemongrass and Behind all that lemon, lemongrass soapiness, there is a really nice forest-like smell. For me, this fragrance smells really like forest, and I would say the hotter it is, the more the lemon and the soap it like disappear fast, and the more it becomes some kind of forest-type fragrance, and the colder it is, the more you'll get the soapiness and the lemongrass note. It's also a fragrance that I love because it's the first real fragrance that I purchased myself. 
I got gift when I was a kid and I I was having Axe body spray like every teenager at the time I was a teenager. But it's, it's the first one I really bought that it was real fragrance. I wanted something nice. This is what I got. And this is not this bottle. I finished it a long time ago, but I always want to have a bottle in my collection and that makes it nice for that. And I know many of you will have got this as your first or maybe one of your first fragrance. But even without the nostalgic purpose of it, it's a nice fragrance. Number three, it's Bijan Man by Bija. And this fragrance have a weird shape bottle, but what's inside of it is just crazy. It smells spicy and there's aldehyde and it's extremely powerful. The projection of this is just enormous. I did a top five uh, B small fragrance and this was number two, just to give you an idea. And also it smells really great really manly i love the note of clove inside of it it really makes it different and also there's a lot of oak moss in this fragrance it was a really popular fragrance when it was released but it seemed like it kind of disappeared from the market now you can find it at this counter but i think it's really hard to find elsewhere personally i would say this one is better for winter because of the projection but if you want Pujai for winter. This, this one is a good one. Now, number two, I only got a sample of it and it's Pegasus by Parfum de Marly. This fragrance is completely different from all the rest. It's really sweet. It's an almond fragrance and the almond is really powerful in the fragrance. Extremely nice, extremely good. If you like sweet fragrance, you'll probably love this one. The bad thing is it's also one of the most expensive on the list, if not the most expensive, but it's just overall a great fragrance. It's really nicely made and it's probably one of the best by Parfum de Marly. It doesn't seem like any of the other Fujai. It's really more, it feels more like an oriental fragrance i would say but it's classified as a fujaya so that's why i'm putting it in the list and it's also one of the fragrances i think smell the best so that's why it's on the list but as a fujaya i wouldn't put it number one because as i said it's not a lot like other fujaya it's more oriental so i don't think it deserves number one even though i think it smells really good and number one is fujaya royal by ubigan i just got a travel atomizer it's an official one by ubigan and this fragrance is just crazy you know fujaya the family of fragrance is called fujaya because of this perfume it was made in late 1800s really long time ago, over a hundred years old, like not this bottle, but that perfume was made long time ago. And it's really special perfume. It's not linear at all. Project like crazy. It start with being floral, it become more spicy. It finished to be more woody, more aromatic at time. It evolves through time. There's a lot of note that you can pick up. One of the note that is more present there, I would say, it's cinnamon. And also another thing about this fragrance is the first fragrance that used an aroma chemical and it's also the first fragrance that used cormoran, which is the molecule that started fuja. Because every fuja have that in common the use of cormoran and other stuff, but the use of cormoran is really what started that style of fragrance. Also smells really nice and every fragrance on the list lasts a good eight hour and more they last long they project well I would say that maybe number five Bogart doesn't project super well but it's really nice for summer and overall that top five is all great stuff and depending your budget you can find something great with that so hope you enjoyed this video if it's the case we'll like and share if you have another favorite Fujair write in the comment which one it is, which Fujaya you think is really the best. And if there's any of the fragrance there that you disagree with me and you think they're really bad, also write it in the comment. I'd be really happy to hear from you. So thanks for watching and see you soon.